Hello, key fans, and welcome to another episode of our random key hunt track down quest. I, I'm not really sure what it is. Um, been meaning to get this one off my list, so I can finally close this window that I've had open for weeks in Chrome. Uh, a while ago, somebody requested I take a look at LuckyRandomKeys.com and see what they got. And basically, it seems like a contest more than a key purchase, but that's okay. We're, we're going to give it a shot. They actually have a fairly different setup on how things work. So you have 1 in 50 odds to get games like Battlefield 1 or Civilization 6 or Mafia 3 or Resident Evil 7 and they have some pretty current games but your odds are 1 in 50 Watch Dogs 2 so they have two ways to participate so you can get a random Steam key for two dollars you're always a winner or you could take a chance on a winner's choice key risk it all to win a top tier steam key odds are always at 1 in 25 and the winner picks the game they want while the losers walk away with nothing what do you think we're gonna get out of that one I vote nothing so now for better odds than any other site because they make their money with advertising which is cool they have a contest here you can enter to win a copy of Resident Evil 7 right now so that's nice They've got fairly good reviews on Trustpilot. They've got a bunch of positive reviews on their website that I was looking at. They have a newsletter. So their store has two choices. Just dead simple. One random Steam key. Two dollars. Bam. I already had one in her cart, so or we hit it twice. I'm not sure which. Probably had one in her cart because I was playing around to see how it worked out. Uh, we can win things like Battlefield One, Watch Dogs Two, Mafia Three, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Grand Theft Auto Five, which I certainly hope I don't get because it won't do me any good. Dark Souls Three. Please check our full games list before purchasing. And we're also going to do the winner's choice key. Read the description very carefully before purchasing. Purchase a winner's choice key is a huge risk. For those that don't care about receiving anything, the winner's choice key cuts your odds in half. However, you either win or lose. You are not guaranteed to win a Steam key with the winner's choice key. You may receive absolutely nothing, but if you win, you can pick any game you want. So, pick a game. If you see congrats, winner's choice, you can pick any tier one game you want. So we're going to add that to our cart. And we're going to back this down to one, and we're going to update. Now, we're not going to go out on a limb here, because I don't know about this site. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get one of each and see how it works out. So, please keep in mind that games are distributed randomly. There's no guarantee you'll receive exactly the game you want. We are also not responsible for duplicate keys or games you already own. So, if you have a great deal of number of games, like, well, like I do, in Steam, it's very likely you're going to get Bob's Adventure number one ten times, and they don't care. Uh, and seriously, there is no duplicate key guarantee on this site. So if you do get Bob's Adventure number one ten times, you get Bob's Adventure number two ten times. So if you have nine other friends, well, ten, because probably wouldn't want to play Bob's Adventure number one. Unless, of course, your name is Bob, and then you might. Please make sure before purchasing this product that your computer is able to run the games you could win. We are not responsible for any compatibility or problems due to operating system, computer specs, or other. And if you're familiar with the system that I have, I don't think that's going to be a problem. So let's look at the games. The 
the site is not very speedy. So here's the one in 50 odds games. So we've got Dishonored 2, Mafia 3, Dark Souls, blah, 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 blah. Division, Just Cause 3, the typical stuff you No Man's Sky. <laughs> uh, we don't win that. <sighs> Couldn't even give that one away. Tier 2. Counter-Strike, Skyrim, Stardew Valley. A lot of these we already have. Uh, Falling in Vegas, Stardew Valley. I really want to get the Dwarves. I honestly really want to get that game. It looks pretty awesome. So I will probably be picking that up, and I'll probably play through it if there's any demand. So, hey, if you want to see the Dwarves, drop a comment. Let me know, because I'm interested in getting it. I will add it, move it up my list. It's already on my list. I'll move it up my list if there's any demand for me to play it. Deponia, I, I heard good things about that game. Uh, Borderlands 2 already have, Shadow Mortar already have, Bioshock I can't have. Uh, I actually have the entire Deus Ex series that we may play through. Uh, I do not have Dishonored for some reason. I really need to look into that. And the rest of them are cool. Tier 3 odds, 1 in 10. So we get down into the hard reset, Alien Rage, Sakura Spirit. Pixel Junk Monsters Ultimate. Now we're getting into the games that have been given away for free. Stick RPG 2. Tropico 3. Oh, I don't have Tropico 3, so getting it would not be a bad thing. Uh, I have 5, but not 3. Sniper 2. I think I have a couple of these actually. 3. I think I have 2, 4, and 5. I, I don't have the first one, I don't have the third one. Uh, Contagion. Naked Oriental game. Story about my uncle. Not really interested in that one. Uh, I have the whole Fear series already. More Sakura Naked Agent game. Uh, System Shock 2. That's been in a bundle for like two years now. Gone home. Darksiders wouldn't be bad. So what else we got in here? Tier four, which is probably where we're gonna end up. Let's see what our tier four odds are gonna are gonna net us. Uh, Pixel Heroes got it. Floss Box got it. Uh, Dead Effect got it. So this is this is Death Coat. That sounds like a great name for a band, or maybe Death Goat. I'm not sure which. This is probably where we're gonna end up. Uh, we have quite a number of these already so the key thing is that we get a game we don't have yet because a lot of these we've already got so our luckiest thing we can hope for and since this is the tier I can almost guarantee you this is the tier we're gonna end up this is the tier we are going to wind up being in because it's the one for one and I'm not feeling very lucky today although my luck has sucked lately so maybe maybe today this will be uh, be the turning around of that Shadowgate wouldn't be bad so let's um, let's hope for Shadowgate we have to pick something. Shadowgate would be the thing. Or ass kickers. Shadowgate and ass kickers. Let's pick a third. Who would you pick? Out of all these games. Ski World Simulator might be fun to play around with. Uh, I already have every Red Alert game. Otherwise I would pick Red Alert. The Command and Conquer deal. I already have all of those. Let's be a third game. I don't have the Warhammer Dawn of War. So maybe we might go with that one. I don't know why I'm even bothering to get my hopes up. We play this game every week. And uh, it never goes our way. So, okay. We'll pick three games. Cross our fingers and push the button. Hit the plunger, blow the explosives. We're gonna pick Warhammer Dawn of War, and we're gonna pick 
Shadow Gate. And we're going to pick... What's the other one? So many games, it's hard to hard to sift through. Well, Ghost Warrior One wouldn't be bad. Although the Ghost Warrior is kind of a janky series, in two and three looks awesome, but two is a little janky. Who's our third one? So you can see I'm already committed to this because I can't remember what we picked. So Shadowgate, Dawn of War. I'm sure you guys are screaming at the Ass Kickers. That's it. So Ass Kickers, Shadowgate, and Dawn of War. The three we're crossing our fingers for. And I have no idea what the rest of them are going to be. Anyway, let's do the how it works. So, good odds equals good games. So... Our goal is creating lucky, in creating lucky random keys was to let gamers like us have access to a Steam library with as many awesome games as possible. Still with the best odds of any random key site, we provide a safe and fair way for gamers to try their luck. We are transparent with our odds and we have rave reviews all over the internet. As of August 2015, our site has been paying out top games daily. Best of luck and see you on Steam. And compared to Steam deals, which honestly has nothing in stock right now is a bad review and HRK as a poor review well, I like HRK because of the fact you can actually do trades on dupes and stuff so um, here we go into the professionalism of the site uh, I don't care how this could be two bozos running this out of a clown truck and I'd still say they're more professional than most sites because they break it down here's where your money goes so what happens when you purchase a key? 15 cents goes to PayPal fees. 85 cents goes to giving you a game. And a dollar goes into the collective pool to make it so that other people can get games that are better. So when you average this out across, that's not bad. But this I like how they break this down. It, it does give a more professional outlook on the site and if you're going to take people's money you should really kind of show them how it works you know how how does this how does this pan out for me where's my money go and it, it adds a lot a, a, a whole level of professionalism to the uh, the purchase experience because now I know I pay 15 cents of that to PayPal 85 cents gets contributed into the pool for giving me a game which a lot of the games I saw and we know have a less than 50 cent payout. So if we do end up in that one to one tier, we're, we're, we're basically overpaying. That gives a comparison to what we're, what we're looking at. And a dollar goes into the collective pool to increase the results of um, funding better and bigger games for everyone else and keep the cost of the site fair and transparent. Plus they do lots of advertising, so they make their money. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and check out, and you guys don't need to be here for this, so I will come back, and we will see what we get from our random Steam key and our winner's choice key. So join me again in a minute, and I will run down how we worked out. All right, welcome back. You guys uh, didn't even notice because... Uh, it was like instant, but uh, Lucky Random Keys was not exactly the quickest website to respond, and it was actually a little more difficult than most of the other ones. First thing I got was the confirmation for payment, and then about five minutes later, I got a code that I had to put in to verify my order and my email account, which is probably because it was my first order. I don't know if we're going to be doing that every time. But that's how that worked out. Um, it actually took about 40 minutes to find out what our keys were. So, welcome to random Reddit page to conceal what we want. And we just landed on Swagbucks for some reason. But that's okay because I just did reddit.com random. So, pretty cool little feature they have. Anyway, we got 
Merchants of Caden. Which was nothing what we wanted. Um, regain your riches. Restore your honor and avenge your father's murder. Because my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. A challenging trading game with lots of RPG elements. I hope so. Because if it didn't have lots of RPG elements, this is looking pretty dull. Really dull. Let me see what else they got. Millie, a joyful casual puzzle game that will tease you, tease both your wits and your memory. I don't like my memory being teased. That can be dangerous. Teddy Floppy Ear, Mountain Adventure. You know we all played that one. Teddy Floppy Ear, Kayaking. Teddy Floppy Ear, The Race. 16-bit uh, Trader. Uh, most of these have negative reviews, looks like. Well, Teddy Floppy Ear got pretty good reviews. Uh, anyway, we get the whole set of their games, every single one of them for $15. 15 dollars 15 to be precise. And Merchants of Caden... Kaidan, Kaidan. We're going to call it Merchants of Kaidan, because that sounds more exotic. Uh, is fourteen ninety nine of that fifteen twenty five? So obviously this is the cream of the crop. So what do we get for this? We get some uh, achievements, which are always good because I like doing those, and we get some trading cards, which I've actually been selling all my Steam trading cards. So that makes me happy. Get that big six to eight cents. Anyway, total waste of a game. Nothing on our list. I didn't even see this in there, so I didn't even notice this. Mixed reviews. 68% uh, of 203 reviews are positive. It came out in November of 2014, so it's almost two and a half years old. Strategy trading simulation RPG adventure. Uh, seven people online now, 10 peak playing today, but it does have an all-time peak of 1,716 people. So, obviously at some point, it was decent. Maybe back in 2014, it was decent. I'm not going to read you the entire description. It honestly does not sound very good, but it does have four storylines and many quests, total 100 quests. So, this could be a real-time sync cool. I like time sinks that give cards. So, for, what do we got here? So, we found this for 53 cents on Kinguin and 48 cents on G2A. So, what did we get for our other key? Nothing. We are a loser. Hair. Total loser. Loser. We got nothing. Not a thing. We wasted $2. So, summarize, we are starting a new list of February 2017. Actually, I need to make a new column and move this over here. Uh, we're going to call this uh, amount paid so we can summarize it. And maybe we'll cut, cut this and move it one more over so we got more space. In case we need to add something in. And then we're going to put our total price paid because we're going to say that it's $4 for that key. Because uh, that's the only way I can justify how this works out. So, for our first purchase for February 2017, and I am still looking for ways to give away those keys from January and December, uh, drop your comments below on how you would like to give those away. I'm thinking we'll have a contest video sometime and do comments, and then we'll give them away by comments. If that sounds acceptable to you, give me a yay or a nay down in the comments, and we will get that rolling but I got a number of keys I want to give away and uh, I need your help I need your input how do you want me to give them away contest comment contest give me your ideas uh, and and seriously I have a bunch of keys to give away uh, some of them are good some of them are not uh, some of them are um, remain be seen but there is a lot of them and some of these are for bundles that I bought too so they're not all bad keys I got things like uh, uh, I got a full key for Guild Wars 2 and a bunch of other stuff uh, that'll get you the full game, not not the freebie. It'll get you the uh, the full game with a lot of benefits. Uh, when I bought the uh, Yogg's Cast bundle for Christmas, uh, a number of those games I already had, and those were some pretty decent games. So uh, seriously, 
let me know what you're thinking and how you want how you want me to give these away i'm voting i'm leaning towards the contest that runs towards uh comments so we can do the comment contest we'll do a comment video and you leave a comment and then i run a random indexer that pulls names out of comments and then you claim your prize so i'm thinking of doing it that way if, if, if you like that idea that'd be great tell me if you don't like that idea make sure you tell me because i don't want to do things you guys don't like uh, if you do like it or you're indifferent, tell me you're indifferent. I, I want to hear from you guys. Uh, I always welcome your comments. I try to answer as many of them as I can, but uh, I do need your feedback on this because this, this is this is involving you guys. So this means, yeah, you know, I want to do this in a way that works for the majority of people. And uh, if I'm on the wrong base here, I'm going to end up giving every key to one person. And we're talking like I think last count it was like forty seven keys so really gotta really gotta pull this one together so uh give me your give me your uh, work you know uh, give me what you're thinking and at the end of february we'll start running those contests so and we'll do those uh, once a month and we'll give away all the dupes so thanks curse anyway merchants of caden kadan kadan $14.99 at Steam, $0.53 cents on Kinguin, $0.48 cents on G2A. Uh, lucky key thing, not so lucky for us, and definitely not worth the money we paid for it. Uh, I would highly advise you stay away from this site, uh, especially any of these contest sites that give away things where you get absolutely nothing for your money. Uh, they are upfront about it, I will give them that. And if we won, we would have probably been ecstatic. So that's probably where their good comments come from, but we did not win. We did not win at all. We we totally lost today. We did we lost our winner's choice and we got a a lowest tier do nothing game. Uh, if they put a dollar in out of what we paid, they can go to G2A and get this game for fifty cents. It was probably free at one point. And uh, they just made, you know, basically a buck fifty off of us so we paid for somebody else to have a nice new game uh lucky random key no 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 no. do not go there do not go there um this was a requested one so we're doing this as a requested site uh and i do those too so if you guys want me to do one for a particular site uh, i had a list of sites i want to try and this was a, this one made it to the top it bubbled to the top uh, i really want to do hrk games but uh, we've done several of those, so I thought I would explore some of these other ones. I don't think we're doing this one again, unless somebody really wants to see our luck again next time. But that person would probably be a sadist wanting me to waste my money. So that's okay. I don't mind. We got a game. I'm probably not going to do that winner's choice thing again, because that's $2 you just flush down the toilet. So uh, hopefully this works out for us. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you learned that this site is not a good site to visit for keys. Uh, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. And please remember, drop your comments down below. Uh, mention some of those games in the video if you would like to see me play them. Uh, definitely let me know if you would. Uh, if you have ideas for the contest, drop that below. Uh, I, I really want to entertain your ideas. So I will see you guys later, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.